Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Cubasis 3.1. It's just that it's new update, which has added this beautiful channel strip here. Yes, yes. Uh, which comprises of a multiband compressor, a stereo imager, and a loudness maxima loudness 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 maximizer um, to basically master your tracks. But I I have uh, got a couple of examples. One of them I I uh, demo today in a live stream, uh, but not with this. I just recorded it into Cubasis. Um, so I, I, <laughs> and it's very difficult to do this properly because uh, my my I'm. You know my, my my ear is blocked, so I'm just I'm winging it, winging it basically using using the meters like you know what I mean the meters, uh, so it's very good. So the first example I'm going to play you the track without anything applied. Now of course like any maxim uh, anything that will boost your signal it will get louder. So you need to be extremely careful when applying the effect to anything if it's whatever it's drums, guitars, a master mix, whatever. Please be careful, guys, when you apply an effect. Turn the mix volume down first before you start messing around. Now I have turned this up, so we're getting a, a, a we're going to get a relative loudness equality, if you like, between the track and when I pull in the master. But I will pull all the volumes down and stuff before we start to bring them back up again for the master division. So I've made quite a few adjustments to this particular preset. Uh, the preset was. Um, I think it was indie hype by the looks of it. So I've made some adjustments to the compressor, the stereo imager. Uh, we'll go through all this stuff anyway, and the, and the maximizer. Here it is. I have it turned off. Here it is with the volume pushed up to kind of relatively match the volume from the master version. So you need to be familiar with the track. Now, even though this is in mono, you will still get an idea of what this can do. Other than the stereo imager, which will widen the, the relative stereo fields of the mid range or the, the bass or the top end or whatever. Anyway, let's go. Here's a track without. And this, this track will be. Uh, I put my Ethnesis head on, which is writing for me and Joe. So Joe will eventually sing to this. It's not quite finished. There's still a mid late to go in. It was recorded 100% in the Yamaha Modi X's sequencer and then just recorded into. Q basis. Here we go.
so there it is without the uh, mastering applied so I've just got to make some adjustments to volumes now and things um, let's go to the mixer let's turn this down I'm going to start it off and then and I'll, I'll apply the effect and then you can hear how, the difference it makes um, to the to the track so let's do this So straight off in that first part. We're equalizing that. start to mess around with certain bands so I'll go a bit OTT like over compress the bass bring up the mid Too much pump. 
And that's not really the kind of track for that, you know. So turn it off the compressor. My advice, don't go mad, <laughs> um, especially with the bass end. What's nice is you can keep the, the, the bass end nice and tight, which is cool. That's too wide. You can pan the bass, you won't hear that of course, because it's mono. So really tighten up the bass. basically completely messed up we mix so <laughs> so let's try another preset it's quite nice light and airy so let's have a look what we get uh, preset wise 2000s era 70s 80s 90s 90s is, Ill, is really loud so let's try with the let's just go through some of these some of these are going to be really loud so 2000s is nice not really for this kind of music too much bass compression If you want a 70s vibe, yes, this is a new master and effect, Andre. Yeah. 80s, man. Wait, too much top end. Too wide on the mids. nice because you can turn each band off and leave the uncompressed signal as it is nineties are gonna be loud I like more top end than that on the base. Acoustic rock. Pretty chill, actually. Z pretty much zero compression. Big rock. So I think at this point 
we shall uh, change the track because, you know, <laughs> you'll get sick of it and that. Uh... All right, so let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so here's one called Nebula. It's another just one off. So this is I recorded in earlier from the MC707. Um, we shall kind of do the same thing. I'll I'll put this time I'll put it on the master channel. Um, although there's no no real need when you're using just one file to apply it to the master channel, but you know just to show that you can. It's located in internal effects. It's a free. It comes as part of the free update as well. So it is master master strip. So I guess as a starting point, this is kind of I don't know. It's kind of chill. So I suppose we could try uh, Dream Pop Gliss here or Electronically Balanced. We'll, we'll start with Electronically Balanced. I will, uh, of course, make sure that my volumes are quieter. Before I start messing around, I shall have a look. I shall uh, switch it off and we shall listen. Lock the volume up for the pre-play. So again, you get the idea with that. What we shall do is open up the master strip. We shall turn it on. What did I have it on? Um, electronic balance. So I have no idea how this is going to sound, of course. So I shall just switch it on and I'll see. So we need to make some mixing adjustments. I, should, I can do that with this, actually, but... It actually makes a huge difference.
Yeah, it's the new Master and Suite. Well, it's, it's called the Master Strip. It's free with the new update for Cubase's 3, 3.1. They've also fixed a ton of stuff as well. We shall be delving in in the next few weeks. Um, we shall be putting Cubase's 3 series spaces. We'll drive that bad boy hard. Compressor is really, really nice. Um, uh, you can turn each module off individually, so you can turn the compressor off, but the imager and the maximizer would still be on. You can turn off the bands individually as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, 40 people watching. Please strike the like, folks. Strike the like. Strike it now. They've already had the one dislike a striker. He must have nothing better to do. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. And of course, we can adjust the bandwidth as well, which is very, very nice. And add to that, you, you get the waves as well as an IAP if you want to do some real, you know, you can get very surgical with Cubases now. Um, it's come a long way. I know it launched three with a lot of uh, bugs and stuff, but, you know, they have addressed it. I think they've addressed over 90 things in this, this new update. Different things. Oh, thanks, RPJ. Bless you um very kind of you uh so yeah there's lots of lots of very very cool stuff so we've got another one we can mess with as well although, although should we have a listen to a few more presets on that so let's go to where it kind of starts <laughs> dream pop gliss this is cool as well the maximizer that's nice not a big fan of having a, a massive stereo imaging on the base end of anything I, I it's much more pleasant or more comfortable for me to listen to um music that has like the kick or the bass kind of properly centered and then I, I don't if you listen to anything me and Colin do we don't tend to go uh too wide with anything uh, rarely <laughs> would say because I mean a lot of people listen on small stereo equipment equipment that's close together and it's kind of like if you go too wide with anything and if you're it's kind of like watching a um it's kind of like going to the, the the cinema on a great big screen and sitting in the front row and you your eyes are constantly having to move from left to right or to the center from left to right and that's what happens when you listen to music that's got a massive, massive stereo feel, you know, like when you're listening, if you're listening through headphones or you're listening on, on 5.1 surround sound and you hear this amazing sound that comes kind of like from the back of your head somewhere, 
Well, for a, a, few, a fraction of a second, that's what you're focused on and nothing else. That amazing sound that's come from somewhere else. So unless it's kind of like a super brilliant, like stereo swoosh effect or something, uh, having things too wide is is not a uh, not really uh, comfortable. I no, I don't master on my iPad. Although I think I might master with this now. To be fair, I usually use T Rex, um, but you know since this is a mastering rack. <laughs> I, I've used T-Rex for years and years. I mean, don donkeys years. But um, I might have a go at mastering with this. But I, I can't. I, at the moment, I can't hear Jack, Jack Dilly do that. So, you know. Anyway, I, I think it's really nice. It's really nice. I think it's a I think it's a good. Uh, I think it's really good. So let's, have, let's, let's load another track in, shall we? In fact, actually, what on, can I load it back? No, I've, done, I've got a project set up anyway. So that's fine. I'll just uh, un, unhinge it from this, I think. Turn it off, actually, and just because I'm not like uh, now. This one's called time. Okay, now I purposely recorded this one a little bit quieter, and with this one again, I'll just put it on in the send because uh, the insert. Sorry, because there's no point in in. You know, if you were mastering the whole track, that's fine. And you had all the different tracks and stuff. But you know what I mean? Um, yeah, right. So uh, it's not buffering. Is it too bad? Uh, right. Okay. So it's not really about the quality of the sound. It is about what you can do with it and what it, what it can do for your mix. I think the temptation as well is when you, when you get a fabulously sounding master strip like this, the temptation is to, is to go mad and then... Um, you know, yes, it doesn't sound great at the end. Over compressing stuff doesn't sound great neither. I think you lose all the dynamic, especially in progressive rock, which is what me and Colin basically do. And me and Joe Rooks write songs. It's it, it, there's a lot of dynamic range, so I don't really want the super quiet bits being as loud as the like. You want the impact of it going from really quiet to really loud, sort of thing. That, that's but that's just me. That's just my type of music. Dance music again is different. In EDM, you want the quiet parts to be like really noticeable. So when they do the drop, it's really cool. Anyway, there you go. Just my two pence worth, I guess. Right, master strip. So with this one again, it's another kind of chilly kind of thing. So we will start with a another. Actually, we'll start with two thousands era with this one and I will turn it off and I will make sure my volume is down for when we turn it back on actually yeah so and then we'll listen to it without just need to make an adjustment in the volume again so again this is with nothing Thank you. Thank you. 
there's that one. Uh, so we shall uh, knock on the effect. Okay, now we need to be careful and wary of our volume. So. So it's quite remarkable that once you run the master in effects over the main track, and then when you first hear the track, you think, well, the track sounds okay. You can't really say, oh, it needs more of it. Well, you can if you want to. You can say, oh, it needs more top end, it needs more mids, etc., etc. But the listening to the track as a, as, a, as a thing without the effect, it sounds okay, you know? And then as soon as you apply the effect... is really nice for this. So the point to remember, of course, is that you don't need to use this. You don't just need to use this on a master track. You, you know, there are tons and tons of uses for it on drums, guitars. You know, you could run it on like every single track and then on the master, if you like. Um, you, you can, if you were like on drums, you can really use it to shape uh, the drum track, if you like, or, you know, start with something similar to what I mean. You've got an awful lot of, uh, an awful lot of presets to play with, like, sort of thing. So, should we try it on, should we try it on, a, on one of Cubase's kind of standard drum, drum patterns? Um, let's start off a, start off a new one, a new track. And we'll just call this, um... Uh, uh, master channel, master channel, uh, drum. And, ding, okay. And we shall just locate some, uh, MIDI or audio. Let's do, let's see what's in. Uh, <clears throat>
Okay, so for the purposes of this, this will be fine. Let's just copy and paste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope we've pasted a few times and then we want to. There's no real point in me doing that. I could have just done this across the one. Um, the one what to. Okay. Right, so let's apply the effect, shall we? Put it on the insert again. Uh, eternal master strip. Okay, so cool beans, boink. Let's start with acoustic rock, since it's an acoustic drum kit, although I'm pretty sure that that's not what they had in mind. Right, so let's see. We'll get that on what's it there. Uh, I wish... Cubasis allowed for automation. You know, uh, MIDI. So. Here we go. Nice. Compression on the bass. That's really nice. See on a, on 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 the drum track that might be actually really good. in the mid off I think it's, do you know what, honest to God, I think it's great for, you know, for a free edition. I think it's really good. And I, I was wondering, I don't know, I don't know why not many people add a loss meter. Just make sure you mastered it minus 14, you'd be okay. Five vibe going here. Now you 
can you can have it for mixing or mastering Lionel. It's, you can have it at the moment. At the moment, this is actually running on a on a track on a track strip. Uh, in the beginning, we had it running on a track strip, and then we had it running in there. You can, you know, and you can run as many as them if you want. If you want him, put another one in there, I guess. If you're really feeling, uh, you know, if you're really feeling mental, you could have two. <laughs> Although I don't really think, uh, I don't really think there's much point in that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Very good. It's very sensitive as well, so that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. The bark filter, mega, mega mastering trick. Oh, here we go. Well, that's nice. Hyper compress the bass. <laughs> Put the ratio really low. on the top end sounds nice I think on the I definitely feel that having the bass in the centre sounds nice as well Super. There you go, guys. So there it is, the new mastering a strip with tons of presets to get you started. Although you'll have more fun playing with the uh, imager and the compressor uh, with, with we, you know, just messing around. It's very cool. Yeah, thanks, Hazza. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I, Q, Cubasis is very, very, very good now. It's only going to get better, isn't it? Let's be fair. I know, you know, you have to buy it again, so they give you one Cubasis today. But uh, I, you know, don't make the rules. Like, um, I think you get an awful lot of stuff um, for your money, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's great. You know, you can do a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm going to spend more time with Cubasis. We're going to do more recordings and things and just generally getting to know it and things and having a, having a blast round with it, you know, because... Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's good, you know. And plus, it's a door I've used for years and years. Cubases two and the first Cubases, then Cubases two. And and I know when Cubases three came out, there was a lot of disappointment because a lot of things wouldn't work properly, and you know. But uh, yeah, they're getting they're getting their act together now, and it's it's pretty hard to beat. It comes with an awful lot of stuff. Um, it just, it just still needs things. Obviously, people are still always going to ask for stuff, um, you know. So, but we can uh, we can keep uh, you know keep waiting, keep hoping, and uh, I'm pretty sure that Steinberg will get get around to it. But they have they have 
added an awful lot of bug fixes. And like like I said, there's like 90 things being sorted out or added in this update, so it's pretty good. Again, it's a free update. There's no IAP for this. It's just part of the internal effects now. In the... Uh... Oh, come on, dog. If you go to this and you go to internal effects here, it's, it's part of the internal effects. So... There's a new, I think as well, also a new kind of, uh, there you go, low quality mode, which is not low quality, but better CPU usage for the actual Roomworks um, reverb as well. That's one of the things that's been added, other than a ton of stuff. Um, but yeah. Can I try increasing the velocity on one of the drums? Yeah. I guess so. Uh, let's have a look at this. Velo thought. Let's open it, shall we? A bit further up. So we go. Uh, let's spread this out a bit. So, well, just... Uh, uh, just... Can you try increasing or decreasing the velocity on one of the drums to see if they fixed it? I don't know. Did they fix it? Tap on it and... Did they fix it, Colin? And it looks... Is it working? Oh, well, I don't know what it was doing before. And I, I, some, I don't very often make adjustments to the, uh, the blah, 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 the MIDI velocity. Unless I'm kind of want everything to be exactly the same level, but when I want the kind, that's the natural feel of that. That's the natural feel of what they how they programmed it. So, so it is a bug impossible to change velocity on a selection without using the left side buttons. Previously, all events were selected at once. Well, now you can select one event. I think there's two there actually, but. Need to split him. Now you can definitely change the velocity on just one event. Now, or I guess uh, select a load, or tap on them and deselect. And yeah, seems seems to be working now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I, I yeah I'm glad. Well, clearly, uh, obviously, it, it's good that they fixed that then. But yeah. So there you go. As one of the things that have been fixed for your car. Top job, cool beans. Way hey. Anyway, listen, guys, I am going to go. I'm going to let you say ta to each other for a few minutes. Thanks very much for joining me this evening for a look at the new Cubase's team. And in particular, we are paying attention to the new Master Strip, which it comprises three effects. They are very, very good, as you've heard throughout the stream. Even though it's been in mono, you can still let out what a huge difference they make to the sounds. Stereo imager, loudness maximizer, multiband compressor. Super duper. I'll see you guys soon. Ta ta. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye.
Hello, gang. I think you can probably hear me now through the phone. I'm just uh, reading through the comments. Uh, can you hear me through the phone before I go? I was just reading through the comments um, and assurance. I'm going to be doing lots of Cubase's. Um, lots of Q. I don't know. Gosh, non your non your buzz. Every single one of your comments gets held. It's weird. Um, I am going to be doing lots of Cubase's tutorials. Cubase's three tutorials. You know, different things, different looking at different parts of it. So you know, um, eight. It's always eight p.m. <laughs> Always 8 p.m. UK time. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in uh, uh, looking at it a bit more, we'll, we'll, we can go through loads of stuff. It's, 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 it's cool. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Cool beans. I'll see you guys later. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ta-ta.